Spartan just got a new programming language based on Blockly. It's super simple, great for new programmers. You can drag and drop blocks onto the screen to make your program. Let's check it out. Welcome to Blockly for Spartan. We're going to start by naming our program. And then we'll bring a start block over from the toolbox on the left side. This is in the control section. This start block is where our program is going to start. It's going to start with that start block on the top, and then we'll connect all our next blocks onto it, and the robot's going to perform these tasks in order from top to bottom. Next, we'll make it something a little fun. We'll have it drive straight and turn, uh, maybe turn on LED. So uh, let's take an LED out. So maybe we'll have the uh, blue LED turn on, and then we'll have the robot drive straight, and then we will have the robot turn. And then at the end of the program, we should have it stop so that we can start the program again. So we'll take a stop block and put that guy on there next. To upload our program, we can use the play button in the top right corner. It will download the program to the robot. We can disconnect the robot and then run the program, which will execute these steps in order. Now let's move on to the advanced toolbox. The advanced toolbox allows you to use sensors, functions, time, um, variables. You can set motor powers to specific numbers between negative 100 and 100. Let's take a look at that. So let's write a new program. I'm going to say delete all, so we can start a new program. I'm going to drag over a start block again, start block, and then uh, let's start driving forward. So I'm going to take a um, motor powers over there, and I'm going to say both motor powers are going to be set to uh, 60. So it's going to start driving forwards, and it's going to do this until we tell it to do something otherwise. So next, let's say we want to go find something. So we'll drive forwards until we find a wall. So uh, let's take the loop until. So we'll bring a loop block over and we'll, we're going to loop until something is true. So to do that, we're going to take a sensor. You have access to the touch sensor, the optical distance sensor, compass sensor, integrated and gyro, more are to come. So I'm going to bring the touch sensor over. I'm going to say loop until the touch sensor on port 7 is pressed. So it's going to wait there and just sit around. Uh, and we're going to actually do nothing inside this loop, so it's just going to sit there until the touch sensor is pressed. Once the touch sensor is pressed, uh, we're going to stop the robot, so I'm going to take a stop block and drag it over. And let's make it a little lot more obvious. We're going to put an LED in there too, uh, so I could say uh, red LED is on when it starts driving forwards, and then I can turn it off after it finds uh, something that it ran into. You can see that as we are building this program, the code is changing on that right panel. That is the code that's actually being downloaded into the Spartan robot. That is the C program uh, that you are generating using these blocks. If we want to save this program for later, we can do that using save and open on the top right of the screen. To get started with Blockly for Spartan, go to modernroboticsinc.com slash Spartan. Lessons and activities are available at modernroboticsedu.com. We hope you're as excited about this new programming language as we are. It's a great way to get young students into programming concepts. To kick off this programming language, we are giving away a Spartan controller on Twitter. If you're not following us, be sure to follow at modern underscore robotics. We'll be giving away a Spartan controller next Thursday. Just be sure to retweet this post and you'll be entered to win a Spartan controller.